To 95 o'clock, two Clear Creek ISD students have been arrested and charged after allegedly posting a threat to their school on social media. I'm Bill Biasa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. It's a story we've been following since our midday newscast. It happened at Clearbrook High School in Friendswood. That's where we find Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard. So, Ryan, we understand these two threats are separate but related. Correct. Two different students, two different threats. All of this happening on one anniversary. This image circulated on social media alarmed administrators at Clearbrook High School in Clear Creek ISD. It appears to show a gun in the school hallway. And we want our parents to know that that image from what the suspect tells us was photoshopped and he actually recreated that whole process in front of, in front of administration and officers just to make sure. She says three students reported two separate social media posts. The posts were described as alarming and dark on this 18th anniversary of the attack at Columbine High School. With Within an hour, two students faced charges thanks to alert classmates. What we know right now is that there were images on Snapchat and they were circulating among the students, or at least this community. And um, as you know with Snapchat, you play it, it goes away. And these students were alert enough to take photos, photographs off their own cameras of those images, and that's what was shared with police and with the campus administration. A trained team searched the school for guns. She says none were found. Now two students, 14 and 16 years old, are charged with a felony, exhibition of a firearm. She says the two students will never return to the campus as the district considers this a terroristic threat. Students here are relieved. For me, I wasn't really scared at all. I, I was I'm confident in the, the policemen we have here at the school. So for me, I wasn't too worried. So I, I feel like our Onto our school system and stuff like that, we could handle it. School is now out. The district telling us that both students have admitted that they were involved. We're live in Friendswood. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Ryan.